here with my daily check-in for the Chloe Ting 2022 weight loss challenge. I just completed my third day and I'm feeling pretty fucking awesome. Uh, whereas the first day I had to do probably about half of the workout at the lower intensity, I was able to do about 90% of the workout today at high intensity um, and I didn't really need to take breaks um, so much stronger in the moves I'm just seeing daily improvement it's pretty amazing I have to say I'm really lit right now uh, you know even my face I just finished you know but not as much redness <laughs> I was looking pretty tore up, you know, the past couple of days, but I just feel like, wow, I'm really seeing a lot of improvement. It's kind of like blowing me away. And I've been at a set point, you know, with my body for a while. And this is something that like a lot of people don't talk about, but when you have a lot of weight to release, and mind you, for me, this is a journey about my health, okay? Um, I don't want anybody to get it twisted, all right? Um, I'm not I'm not trying to reach any particular size. Uh, I'm not trying to reach any particular weight. My goal is just for my body to reach its happy place. Um, currently, my body's not there, you know, which is why I am doing this. Um, the the weight that I'm still carrying on my body, it's too much for my frame. And that's not just my assessment of the situation. I know that this is fact. I know this is fact because um, I have a lot of issues with like, you know, my femur getting displaced. I, I have hypermobility, okay, in all my joints. You know, the, uh, the osteopath that I was working with told me I have the body of a contortionist. And that's true. I can do the splits, okay. I'm extremely flexible. Um, but as you get older, when you have a lot of flexibility like that, if you don't have the, the muscular strength, it can really start to compromise uh, your body. And you can actually deal with a lot of, you know, pain issues related to that hypermobility and the loss of muscle mass, okay? So this is something very important for me, but I tend to have a problem with like my, my femur going out, my tibia going out, just kind of being a little off center, not where it really belongs. Um, and you know, my osteopath told me it's because I have a small bone frame, but I'm carrying far too much weight on my bone frame. My, my, my body is not designed to carry this much weight. Uh, so, you know, my osteopath encouraged me, you know, to really do what I could to get my, my weight, you know, in a healthy range, which, you know, I'm not going to know what that weight is because I'm, I'm never going to go back to stepping on a scale. It's just not my thing. Uh, I don't want to define my health, my well-being, where I'm at by a number, okay? Um, but I'll know when I'm there because I'll, I'll have the vitality. I, I won't be dealing with chronic pain. Um, my injuries will be rehabbed. I'll have lots of energy, okay? Um, but I will say that I woke up this morning and already I see changes in my body and I've been kind of at a set point for a while now and have not seen any movement so for me that was like huge in just two days in just two days and uh, I really think it's the nature of uh, Chloe Ting's workouts you know this particular challenge it's pretty much focused on hit you know, high intensity interval training um, and even the strength exercises are done in a circuit, you know, training format, which is really super effective for fat loss. OK, and that's what I'm really looking to change here. My body composition. I, I don't care how much I weigh if my muscle to fat ratio is in a good place and if I'm feeling strong and healthy, right? Um, and I'm already seeing my strength improve and that's giving me a, a real rise in my confidence and I'm just like, I'm loving this, I am, I'm loving this. 
And I realized that part of what I'm loving about this so much is, you know, I, I support people, you know, um, with intuitive eating. I support people with Ayurveda. Uh, you know, this is my, my other work that I do on uh, my other YouTube channel, uh, Cobra's Medicine Bag, okay? Um, and I do course creation that's related to personal growth topics and um, Ayurvedic approaches to health, intuitive eating approaches to health. Um, so I do a lot of holding that space for other people, but I currently don't have anybody that really holds that space for me. And I realize what I'm getting out of this is I have somebody holding that space for me. And I have somebody that I can be accountable to, you know, um, and somebody that motivates me and encourages me and inspires me uh, to show up and do the work and push me beyond my edge. Because let's face it, when when we kind of do our own thing, it's really easy to sort of like take it a bit easy. Um, and while that's fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you know, more gentle forms of exercise. If you're moving your body, you're doing a wonderful thing for yourself. But if you want to see improvement, if you want to see growth, if you want to build muscle, if you want to see changes in your body, there's going to be times when you have to challenge your comfort zone, you know? Um, and I'm really getting that from this whole experience. And I was really stoked. Chloe Ting just uh, set up a website it's brand new it's all free um, and it has all different kinds of you know fitness challenges you can do there's um, a community that can build there and and the whole nine and uh, I went ahead and signed up because I was like I'm, I'm ready to have some support you know and so this just feels so good to me so good to me um, I am happy because tomorrow is active rest day um, and I'm stoked, you know, to be able to just drink in, you know, the, the success so far, my progress so far and have a day to kind of take it more easy. And, um, I decided that my active rest days are, are pretty much going to focus on yoga, um, and, and maybe just, you know, just my, my freestyle dance, uh, just really, you know, get back into, moving my body again, maybe play with some choreography, um, you know, reco recovering my dancer chops is something I really want to come out of this experience. So um, I think I'll play with that. And then I've also decided that uh, the active rest days are also going to become like pampering self-care days for me where I'm really going to just like maybe do my nails and, um, you know, take a nice soak in the tub and give myself an abhyanga, you know, a, a massage with a lovely hibiscus scented oil and um, just take good care of myself. Just let myself receive that care and, and let self-care be the reward of the work I'm doing. So um, right now I'm really hungry. Um, so I'm gonna go and, and make my uh, workout recovery shake. Today's workout was really tough. Uh, it was high intensity interval training um, and then there was a really intense core workout and a super intense booty builder workout, which I loved. I love working the booty, okay? Like that's my favorite thing to work. I love working the booty, all right? Um, and then there was, of course, the, the warm up and the cool down, which it's kind of funny because the first day... I felt really challenged by the warm up, and now the warm up's like, oh, this is a piece of cake, you know. <laughs> so funny, you know. Um, sometimes that's all you need. You just need somebody who will kind of encourage you and say, you can do this, you know. Um, it really helps. Having that support really helps. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put this out there on my Broad Coven channel, okay? It's like, I could have put this on Cobra's Medicine Bag where uh, I am focused more on health, but really with Broad Coven, it's not just about, you know, the witchy stuff and the uh, tarot readings and the divination and, uh, you know, all that that we got going on right now. But uh, I also really want to bring in what it means, you know, 
to be in your power, to uh, really show up for yourself, to go after your dreams, to take care of yourself, um, and just to live your life out loud. Like, that's what it's about for me. Um, and I, I want every person that comes to this channel uh, to, to really know that it's never too late. Like any, any dream you have, any goal you have, anything you want to pursue, anything you want to make happen, you can do it. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter what any of your, you know, self-perceived limitations are. Like you can do it. And so I just wanted to put myself out there, connect with you all in a real way, you know, let you get to know me, let you see me, you know. <laughs> sweaty, you know, uh, as I am, you know, without all the, without all the, you know, stuff we always see on social media where, where everything is so pristine and perfect, like it's not real. Right. And so I just wanted to show a, a real experience and, and hopefully encourage some community and, and inspire some of you to, you know, have a look at things that, you know, you want to achieve and, and maybe, maybe you felt like, you know, you're not able to do it for whatever excuse you've made for yourself. And, and I'm just here to say, broads don't make excuses, okay? So like, get on that shit, make it happen. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can put myself out here like this, you know, as a woman who's almost 50 years old and, uh, you know, um, make it happen. You can make it happen too. 11, 1144 on the timer when I said that. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> always got to bring a little of that mysticism in. Okay. So, you know, you can do this, you can do this and, um, yeah, check out Chloe Ting, you know, it's kind of cool because I'm, I'm an older woman, right? You know, I'm, I'm going to be heading into my fifties this year and, uh, you know, Chloe's very young. And I think sometimes it's it's important for us older people to uh, remember that we can have young mentors too, uh, and we can learn a lot from them, and they can they can keep us uh, you know kind of in that that fresh optimistic state of mind and uh, and and remind us you know that that we don't have to let those parts of us go just because we're getting older. We can, we can still have the, uh, the fire, you know, and, and bring it forward and, and make things happen. And, um, yeah, that's what I really want to, you know, highlight here at Broad Coven is no limitations, man. You're here to be a force to reckon with in the world. Okay. So don't hold yourself back from anything. And even if you're not, you know, uh, on a journey where you want to get fit or, or anything like that, you know, um, this channel isn't going to focus on that. Right. But, um, I just want to invite you into my world, invite you into a little, you know, view of who I am and, uh, what's important to me. Um, and, Maybe it'll inspire you in a different way with some other goal that, you know, you've been kind of putting off. Maybe today will be the day that you decide, I'm going to take my first step, okay? So, um, day three down, feeling awesome, looking forward to my pampering day tomorrow, my active rest day, and I'm so in it. And uh, I think what I'm going to do uh, moving forward is once I get done with this challenge, I am going to just start a new one. She has a bunch of them to choose from. Um, they're not all weight loss challenges either. There's all kinds of challenges she has for strengthening, um, all kinds of conditioning challenges. So I'm just going to, you know, tick them off and uh, let her whip me into shape. I'm really enjoying it and just feeling really good, really good right now. My body's feeling really good too. Um, I've, I've had some cantankerous injuries and I'm feeling so much improvement. Like I'm really blown away. I'm feeling a lot of improvement and I'm really happy right now. So highlight, highlight of the day is getting through this workout and seeing how much improvement I've already had. And I'm so glad that I like stepped outside the box and tried something different. And I'm so excited to share it all with you guys. Okay. So have a beautiful day and I'll be back with another check-in tomorrow.